Hello everyone, I'm Dan. In this video, I'm going to show you a little bit about this frame that I designed and printed off here for the Jetson Xavier. The TX2, of course, back over here uh, came with the both the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi already on, uh, you know, in the, in the dev board there. However, the Jetson Xavier did not. We have to buy our own little M2 uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth module there, which is this one right here. I picked it up on Amazon. It's the in Intel 8265 module. It, you know, it works. It's fast. It's cheap. You know, just search for Intel 8265. Paid about $25. Um, now, it's got the two little antenna slots right there. Fits into the M2 you know, 2230, 1216 form factor right there. Um, the uh, and for, First, I tried it without the antenna on it there and boy it was it was terrible you couldn't even connect to my bluetooth which is like 12 uh, or my wi-fi which is like 12 feet away and then finding bluetooth it was not very good at that too as well so it really really needs these antennas on there um so let's talk a little bit about how i how i put this all together there um the the original I guess you'd call this the left side, right side. It doesn't even really matter there, but it has a little light on it there. And so on the left side over here, you can kind of see, I just put like a little sort of reflective thing here. I'm gonna minimize this or not minimize it here, but uh, on the left side, I just put like this little, little reflecting thing right here so that that'll go down there. Um, you can use the original screws that came with the with the Xavier let me pop this back up here um, the original screws I did a little offset too as well on that there so let's see if you can see in there yeah the original screws you can do on that there um, the design is fairly simple here the antennas that I bought on Amazon there I've got some links on my website there too let me just pop that open there uh, if you go to the menu and Jetson Xavier tutorials here, I've got a Jetson Xavier Wi-Fi Bluetooth frame with uh, free th free. Boy, if I could talk this today, I'm making like tongue twister or whatever, but free 3D printer files. Okay, um, I put a little link to the antennas here. The antennas themselves are, you know, they're pretty generic, and a lot of the other ones will work there too as well. Um, I did have to leave the washers off there because there just wasn't a whole lot of room per se. Um, I think I made it like maybe four or five millimeters thick. I don't recall right off the bat there. But then I, I made it so that uh, the wires can route through here and then just go right next to basically the power and the and the resets there. So uh, kind of keep stuff a little, little clean, little out of the way from going all over the place there. So that was basically the, the design on that. Um, the whole thing the top is held together by a pair of um, M3 screws, and they are the M3 times 12. They're just basically they're basically pan head stainless steel, and the tolerances are really tight on this. So um, when when those screw together, they're they're not coming apart at all on that. Let me pull up the. I just made these in Blender there, so. Um, there's a little little offset over here that holds those together. Let me go on a wireframe, and you can see that just pops right in there. Um, the the top up here has those little notches that'll perfectly lock in there too as well. Um, so, and then that's the wire channel guide on that. Back to my website here. Um, the, the 3d printer files, basically you can download these, you know, just use them for personal use, not for commercial, obviously, uh, feel free to print those off and put all this thing together. But basically for roughly, you know, about $35, um, I was able to get the, the Wi-Fi card, the Bluetooth module and the, and the antennas there as well. Uh, screws will add in a few more cents and of course it is 3d printing there as well um so it it works fantastic uh my it's completely headless now um let me pop over to vnc i just happen to be emulating it right now move it uh, move the xavier over here 
Um, the Wi-Fi signal is pretty good, connected to my Wi-Fi. Let's see, let me turn on Bluetooth here. Bluetooth is not on by default there. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Bada bing. Okay. Turn it visible here. Um, one of the things I do want to do here is let me just open up Chromium here. We'll just run a. Um, I'm, I'm running a gigabit Ethernet here, so uh, let's go to speed test and see what kind of speeds we get out of this thing here. I'll just do the speed test in Xfinity here. And let's go ahead and run that. All in all, not too bad. I've gotten higher speeds. Uh, might have a little bit to do with my emulation and recording and all this stuff there too as well. But uh, oh, it's satisfactory performance. I can't complain about that. Um, all right, let's go ahead and minimize that, minimize that. I, mean, I think I've pretty much ever covered everything I wanted to do in this video there. Um, anyway, I guess that will pretty much conclude it. Thanks for watching.